tornado spawning from a tropical storm or hurricane once it makes landfall is not uncommon. It's actually more rare to not see at least one tornado spawn from these spinning storms. But why does this happen? Let's learn a little bit more and raise our weather IQ. Got a tornado. When a hurricane is over water, the smooth surface is not conducive for tornadoes to form. But when a hurricane or tropical storm moves over land, the friction increases. Friction slows the winds at the surface while the winds remain stronger in the upper levels. This creates the key ingredient for tornadoes, wind shear. Wind shear is the change in wind speed and direction with height. This creates a spin to the atmosphere. But then the updraft of the thunderstorm will drag that column of air vertically, which will cause the clouds to spin and even could lead to a tornado. This all happens in the outer bands of a tropical cyclone. These bands of thunderstorms thrive under the warm, moist air being pumped into them by the storm, which is ideal for tornadoes. The right front of any tropical cyclone is the most dangerous throughout its life cycle. This is where the winds are the strongest and tornadoes are most common. But tornadoes from tropical cyclones typically don't last long and are fairly weak compared to those that spawn from supercells or rotating thunderstorms. Typically, they'll reach EF0 to EF1 strength and usually only last a minute or two. But rare cases can reach strength up to EF2 or EF3, which also lasts longer. Hurricane and tropical storm produced tornadoes happen very fast with little warning. So whenever one makes landfall, the tornado threat becomes elevated and tornado watches are likely. With WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy, and now we're all a little bit more weather-wise.